Hello and welcome back everyone, and I have discovered yet another amazing thing you can do in Space Simulation Toolkit. What I have here is a giant container full of water. Yes, the, the water is kind of diagonal because the gravity is off to the left. Just ignore that. It creates cool effects anyways. And what I have here is a boat. It's floating. Yes, it's floating. You heard me right. Now the reason that this works is because the higher pressure water at the bottom actually does impart a little bit of buoyancy because it just pushes up. But more interestingly, I've gotten a few things to work well here. The first thing is I fill these gaps with air. Air that has a slight negative gravity to pull it up and simulate even more buoyancy. This is important. If there's no air inside of here, the void will cause these sections of the boat to just collapse inwards. But having a little bit of air pressure inside does a huge amount of work to make it really act like a boat. And if we pop a hole in it, you will notice that the air will actually rush out and then the water will rush in. So let's go ahead and simulate that. We will uh, create a hole here. And as you can see, the air rushes out and then the water begins to pour in. Oh, actually, it's collapsing on itself before the water can pour in. That's funny. But this is actually kind of what happens in real life. I mean, water doesn't just pour into something. That's the reason when you open up a water bottle and hold it upside down, it'll kind of, water will fall out, a bubble will fly up. Water will fall out, a bubble will fly up. Because the air actually needs to come out first to make space for the water. And so when we try to sink this boat, the air needs to come out first. And you can see that by destroying this section the boat is now a little bit more unstable unfortunately because you know this isn't really made to simulate this if i do say like open a hole in the bottom you'll notice that the water while it pushes up and in a little bit it doesn't really jump in although this isn't exactly unrealistic there are boats which actually have like pools caused by the bottom having a hole in it because of the pressure of the air again the water doesn't just like jump up in there's some tricks you can do to make this work but we did lose structural rigidity which is a problem and then let me show you what happens if we completely get rid of structural rigidity anyway let me show you what happens if we get rid of the air pressure inside of the boat as the air pressure collapses so does our ship you see the water is now forcing itself in and at the same time, which is even worse, the lack of air causes the entire section to collapse inwards. Kind, kind of like a submarine disaster. You don't want to be crushed under water pressure, kids. It's not good. And now the water is actually pouring on top of the boat. And this little section that's left has now become a submarine. Speaking of submarines, you know what's simulated a lot better than a boat in this game? That's right, submarines. And that's actually what I originally was trying to do. Um, so if we load this save here, I've got this really cool kind of test version of a submarine in Space Simulation Toolkit. And as you can see, it's kind of just chilling. Like this submarine is actually able to survive under the water with the current physics and uh, just kind of chill. Could try to build a little bit more onto it as well, make it a little bit larger. But let's show what happens if we cut a hole into the submarine, because it's pretty interesting. We have the air rush out really quickly like before, but because it's going upwards, the air has a really easy time. And then you can see the water pours in after the air comes out. So this is actually kind of exactly what would happen if you were to, you know, dump a water bottle out. The air rushes out the water rushes in after there's the gap to take up and now you can see the submarine is actually tilting because of the the weight of the water in here and the loss of the air is causing it to tilt which isn't good because that means that this bit of the submarine is going to stick up and out and it's going to be just completely in the wrong direction we could try to balance it but what we can also do is we can try to repair it so if we go ahead and get the metal tool here turn on change material oh i have to fix the sea distance the sea distance is way too low for metal i can actually try there we go there we go there we go it's not a perfect fix but all we have to do is two things we fix the metal which isn't beautiful but it'll work and then we suck out all the water and then we go ahead and we get the air tool and we're going to inject air in and 
At this point, we're going to turn the C distance down, turn off change material, and we're just gonna inject this section with air, which is gonna cause it to balloon up back to the shape it was before, and it's gonna start floating upwards, preventing the uh, entire submarine from going down. Oh no, the entire thing's gonna breach now because I filled this with way more air than the other sections. It's going up, it's going up, up, up. That's another thing you can control on this. By increasing or decreasing the amount of air inside of the sections, you can actually cause the submarine to go up and down. And look, the water gets pushed away as it breaches. It's super cool. Super, super cool. So there used to be a game called uh, Sinking Simulator, and I think with a little bit of effort, and if the developer actually creates a mode of this game with some buoyancy and stuff, that would be absolutely amazing, but I know that would be complicated, so I'm not, I'm not going to ask for it. I'm just going to say it would be amazing. But look at look at how this, this works. It's crazy. All right, now this section is actually uh, too too floaty so we're gonna remove some of the air so it goes back down because it's supposed to be a submarine and in the same way we're going to remove air from all of these sections to try to get it to sink a little bit now we don't want to go too far if we go too far the sections of the submarine will actually be crushed because remember uh, vacuum plus crushing water around it equals crunch crunch generally not good and you can see as I remove more and more particles, they do start, these sections do start to collapse in a little bit. So it's really a balancing game. But we, we really do have a submarine here. Like, if we're, if we're careful, and we very carefully switch the uh, pressure, the amount of air inside, we can control how deep into the ocean that this craft goes, which is really cool. It's really, really cool. I'd even say it's really, really, really cool. Alright, there we go. It does shrink a little bit when we reduce. <laughs> I won't lie, the, the, the submarine does shrink a little bit. It would be good if I could get like a material that has a little bit more rigidity. I think it's going to become easier to do that in the future. But uh, for now this works. It just gets a little skinny. Submarine gets a little skinny before it goes down. And now we're, now we're sinking. Now we're singing now. Now you may be wondering how this can handle like a wave. I'm curious how it can handle a wave as well. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's create a wave. This is a really strong wave, by the way. Like a really strong wave. We're gonna see it impact in about three, two, one, and oh. Now it's actually pretty hydrodynamic. So the water is going around it pretty easily because it's kind of a tube, almost the perfect shape for this. Um, and because of that, the wave actually did not destroy it. It kind of just went through it. If it was pointed in the other direction, I think it would have been a lot more dangerous. So let's go ahead and see if there was like a, uh, you know, maybe like a s earthquake under the uh, submarine. If there was a huge pressure wave of water coming from under it. I think that'll do a lot more. Okay, maybe a little bit more. How hard do we have to Yeah, so it really it really crushes and pushes, but as you can see, it's still surviving. It's being thrown up a little bit. And actually even then it's Yeah, it's not super not super crazy. It's doing a much better job than I would expect. Doing a very good job. Now let's try a huge pressure wave. We're going to turn the sea distance down super, super low. And then we're just going to hit it with everything we got. Okay, this is going to be brutal. Oh! Okay, I may have went a little bit too far. I may have went a little bit too far. I caused, like, fusion to occur. Okay, the water is fusioning. Uh... Uh, uh, whoops. A lot of molten metal. What? Now it survived! The submarine survived! How did this happen? <laughs> How did it make it? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, man. This submarine is 
very impressive. Far more impressed than I ever made my parents. Incredible. Pump a little bit of air into these containers so that it can, uh... There is a little bit of damage. There is a little bit of damage to the metal, and slamming down here may hurt it a little bit. Nope, nope, it just, it's slipping right into the wave. Look at it go. We Oh, 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 oh! It's not very rigid, especially because there's so little air in it right now, but like... That's a good submarine! I give it 8 out of 10. It, it really does manage to not die. Even in extreme situations. U.S. government slash military. If you want some new submarine designs, hit me up. Hit me up. So I'm, I'm curious if we can do anything like fun with this. Um, obviously the submarine is like cool on its own. But I wonder if we can like extend it. Make it a little bit larger. In order to test this theory, let's go over to the uh, material section. And uh, wow, all this water is just getting pulled over here. It's going to get slammed against the wall. <laughs> That's something it may not actually survive, being slammed into another piece of metal. It was never really designed to do that. Hello. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is really getting tossed. Uh-oh. I can make the hole a little bit stronger. Just stick a little bit of more metal on there. Also, hopefully we get a little bit of an update that makes it easier to like connect bits together. Like I get these little gaps, which are a little eh, but I'm sure these things will be rectified eventually. I am just working on the hole. Work it on the hole. Yeah, now, now, now it looks like it's. It looks far worse. I, I've made I've made the submarine look terrible. Maybe we'll build a new one over here. Yeah, we'll, we'll build a new one. All right. So it's pretty easy to do this. All you do is you go into your uh, Cosmos, set the animate step to zero, so that the game is effectively paused. Now you have to remember when you build that the if you start one bit and then you okay if, if you start with one bit of your creation like this right and then you try to connect something else to it do you see how it didn't really connect there like it, it's got like not a good connection yeah so we, you want to avoid that so something that will actually make you great at building in this game is being a master of drawing in one go so you just hold down the mouse and it's kind of like those artist challenges, right? Where you try not to lift the pen off of the paper. Like if you manage to do it like this, you're gonna have a much easier time. Um, you'll have a lot less issues. So watch this. I'm gonna do this knowing what I know now, and I'm gonna try to make a better submarine. I have zero clue if this is gonna work well, but like, I'm gonna hope it does. Those connection points look pretty weak, but I I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna hope it works. I wonder if I turn the C distance just like slightly under one if I, yeah. It looks, it looks like you can kind of fix these problems by tweaking the C distance a little bit, but it's dangerous with metal to tweak the sea distance it can cause really weird things to happen and like look after we hit play it's super floppy and so what we need to do now is we need to inject that air in so let's go ahead and get that air and um now the sea distance doesn't really matter because we can just put a put a bunch of air in here Be mindful of how much, because you can't explode the thing if you go too far. Alright. It's looking pretty good so far. Oh, we don't want change material on. Oops, we accidentally turned some of the... Yeah, so see how these sections are like 
crushed, that's because we need to give them some pressure to fight back against the water. But once we pressurize them, look! We have, we have an effective submarine. Like, boom. A very happy submarine. This one actually looks a little bit better than the other one, and uh, it's it's doing its thing. It's doing its thing, and like, we can do several tests on what it can survive, but... You know what? Let's do a big test. Let's drop like a meteor on it. Let's see if a meteor will destroy a submarine. Place your bets down below. Will a meteor destroy a submarine? These are questions that the public school system just will not answer for you. Why can't I place... Am I at the particle limit? No. Why aren't you... Why, why, why aren't you letting me draw... St there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, I need to turn down the stickiness on stone, I think, so that that falls. Max stock. There we go. Alright, so we're dropping a massive ball of stone to see what will happen to our submarine. Leave in the comments below if you think our submarine will survive, not survive, or you're subscribing right now. That wasn't really related to the other options, but let's see what happens. Um, hmm. We have a big wave coming over here, but it looks like we're going to have an even bigger wave from this massive ball falling by our submarine. Ooh, okay, here it goes. Is it going to impact? Is it going to hit? Oh, the amount of pressure caused by it. It did not actually impact. It pushed it out of the way just barely. Oh, man. Oh, wow, that was a lot of force. I think it's actually going to, like shoot the entire submarine into the air yeah this is going around and under and it's launching it oh it actually broke the entire map wow my entire testing area wow this submarine is fantastic Re really proud it did a fantastic job the rest of the world broke before the submarine did so this proves submarine supremacy here like it does a fantastic job. I could try to make the submarine a little bit more rigid using the material editor, but that's something I'll do another time. For now, I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied with the results here. Like this works. And I, I'm not trying to make the prettiest submarine. I'm just trying to prove that you can do it. Like this is this is a bit of the game that I think I've invented now. Unless someone else has done a submarine before. This old submarine over here is also still alive. Still still, still trying its best. It'd be nice if I could strap guns to them and have them fight each other. You know. Good times. A neat thing too is if you get the metal tool and go like this. You make a million little triangles. Which isn't really related to the video. But like I thought it was neat. You get all these little triangles. Which could be landmines. I can turn them into landmines. If you want to create an explosion really quickly in this game, all you have to do is get the metal tool and then turn the sea distance really low. Behold. Oh. Excuse me? That was supposed to have more of an effect. I don't I don't know what's happening. There we go! Yeah, so metal with a really low sea distance causes really interesting things to happen in this game. Um, but I, it's, I seem to actually be having issues with it. It's interesting. We Yeah, usually it's a lot more violent. I don't know what I messed up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know. Oh well. Uh, we'll just pour lava on the whole thing. Leave this with the- Oh, there we go! Sea distance with lava. Yeah. That did it. Let's see, since the submarine survived everything else, if it can survive a literal, like, fusion blast. 
The answer is no. No, it cannot. It tried really hard, though. It tried very, very hard. Will the other submarine survive it? This is an important question to answer because submarines are very useful in nuclear war. So if the submarine can survive a nuclear blast, then we're looking at we're looking at something far more useful. I like how just all the all of the bits of this that are just like cooling down and forming these cool patterns and the rest of it is just slowly melting and moving this nuclear apocalypse and here's our submarine just just doing its thing Let's see if we can protect the submarine with some water that must have been a lot of water i just put down because the game literally just oh no that fused Oh. Ah. Ah. I made an even bigger problem. Uh-oh. Okay, do this again, but with a higher sea distance. Oh. Oh, water. Water, protect. Protect the submarine. No. No, it's over. It's absolutely over. Among us. Among us. Among us! The nuclear hellfire is among us! Bro did not deserve this. He was just being a good submarine the whole time. I'm writing a petition right now to ban me from this game. Clearly I cannot be trusted with such power. All that is left is nuclear hellfire. The entire world is just melting. But in a way, aren't we all a submarine? Aren't we all a submarine? I don't know what that means either, I'm gonna be honest. I think this is like water vapor now coming out. Like the ocean was like stuck at the bottom and now it's just like, yeah. Yeah, that's the ocean. The ocean is literally just evaporating. And then all the metal is just falling back down. It is so insane that you can simulate this many particles at once. My brain cannot comprehend this. Like the fact that we have computers that can do this. Absolutely insane. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. If you have any ideas, like, for example, the submarine idea, uh, leave it down below. And I actually do want to give credit because someone did leave this suggestion. Uh, one second. I I'm going to find you. Chippy LOL 2448. You, you, you get credit. You, you get credit for this one. You get absolute credit. Chippy, Chippy LOL 2448. Thank you for the, for the suggestion. Peace out. Bye. Join Valor. Dot GG.